We're on lesson 4.3, and we're going to prove that lines are parallel with all the theorems and postulates that we've learned in the past few sections, the past few videos. So um, we're going to be doing what's called uh, writing the converses of those parallel line theorems. And you already know all these basically, right? These are called, you know, this, the same side interior angles postulate, the alternate interior angles theorem, the uh, corresponding angles theorem. But now we're going to do the converse of those, right? We're going to, we're going to go literally the other direction to prove or, or use these theorems to prove that the two lines are parallel. Now, if that's confusing to you, let me put it to you this way. Um, if So if something is a bird, it has feathers and it'll fly through the sky, right? But you could prove that something is a bird by showing that if it has feathers and flies through the sky, it has to be a bird. So we're just going, you know, in the opposite direction to prove um, what we're trying to prove, right? So in this case, um, if you know the postulate, then, well, and it's true, the statement is true, then uh, you are going to prove that the lines are parallel. I'm doing a terrible job explaining this, but um, I'm sure once we do the uh, problems, um, it'll, be, it'll make a lot more sense. So here we have an example. We are told that the measure of angle 4 is congruent or equal to the measure of angle 8. So if we zoom in here, right, 4 and 8, right, and we, if we're told that they are equal, well, they are corresponding angles, and corresponding angles are equal when the two lines are parallel and only when they are parallel. If they weren't parallel, um, this would not be a true statement. So uh, what type of angle pair is this? Well, it's the corresponding. They are corresponding angles. And so the theorem or postulate that proves that those two lines are parallel is going to be the converse of that. So this is going to be uh, the theorem that proves that the lines are parallel. By the way, this is supposed to be A and B, right? Not M and N. So just want to make that clear. And also the same thing happens in question two. Okay, so uh, question or example two here, we have um, the measure of angle three and the measure of angle eight equal uh, being equal to 180. So three and eight are same side interior angles, which we know from the previous section or the previous lesson, those are same side interior angles and same side interior angles are supplementary. So, and that's only true when these two lines, line A and line B, are parallel. So again, A and B. And so what type of angle pair is this? They are the same side interior angles. And so we want the converse of the same side interior angles postulate, which is right there, that one. Okay, so um, so we're going to continue on and use all the angle pair relationships that we've learned to verify uh, whether or not lines are parallel. Because sometimes, if it comes out to be an untrue statement, well, then they are not parallel. So, for example, in question or in example number one here. We are told 4 and 5 are equal to 170. Well, 4 and 5 are same side interior. And if same side interior angles are supplementary, well, then the lines are parallel. In this case, it only equals 180. So, therefore, they are. what we are proving is that M and N are not parallel, right? So, we cannot prove, and that's what the statement here is saying, we cannot conclude that lines L and M are parallel. All right, same thing with uh, 2 and 3. I won't go into it too much in depth, but you will probably need those examples for the next page. Um, so let's take a look at the Your Turn section here um, for this uh, Explain 3A. And um, let's see, 5 and 7. So if 5 and 7, right, we are told 5 and 7 are congruent. They are corresponding angles, and they are only congruent when those two lines are parallel and so um, they are parallel uh, they are parallel because of the corresponding angles 
theorem. Okay, and your turn question number two, the measure angle two and three equals 160. Now, the same side interior angles are supplementary, which means they equal 180. This one does not, so these are not parallel. Okay, uh, let's see, explain 3B using uh, angle pair relationships to verify lines are parallel. So we're doing pretty much more of the same, except we're going to use algebra to solve for x. So we're going to go ahead and just jump into your turn question number three here. Find the value of x that makes s and t parallel, right? These are alternate interior angles. And the only way that s and t would be parallel is if those two are equal. So let's, let's write an equality statement. 3 times x minus 8 equals 2 times x plus 10. We'll have to distribute these to expand these statements or these expressions. And so we get 3x minus 24 equals 2x plus 20. Let's go ahead and bring together the variables here. I'm going to move the smaller one. When I do that, this goes away and I get x minus 24 equals 20. And then I'm going to add 24 to both sides so that we can get x by itself. This goes away. We get x equals uh, 44, right? And so um, we're only asked to find the value of x, so there's our answer. Okay, question number four. We have same side interior. And what we know about same side interior is that they are supplementary. So if you take 4x minus 12 and add it to 120, it's going to equal 180 degrees. So let's combine like terms, the negative 12 and the 120. We're going to combine that. So, oops. so we're going to combine the negative 12 and 120, and we should end up with uh, 4x, uh, what is this, plus 108 equals 180. Then we're going to subtract 108 from both sides. And this goes away. We should end up with 4x equals, what is this, 172. Uh, oh, shoot, not 172. It's going to be, what? I added 100 there accidentally. Just 72. Then we divide by 4. And we end up with x equals, what is this, 18. And that's it.